Hey guys and gals, Wanderer here, welcome back to Subnautica. So I've just been kind of going around and looking for various resources in this uh, kind of cove tree area over here. There's lots of stuff down below those kind of blue pools. I'm not sure what that element is. It's not sulfur because it doesn't hurt our character, but um, I've been kind of looking around for, well, uh, nickel, like right here, and other stuff around here as well. There's quite a bit of big ore deposits down below those. Um, I don't have the drill arm yet, though, so I can't get to those quite yet. Um, I want to explore back through this cave system today, though. There's quite a bit back here that I haven't checked out yet, and I want to take a look at it um, before we actually leave. Um, eventually, I have to go and actually find the uh, drill arm. I don't have that yet, and um, I, I need to actually get that to really harvest the big stuff. But we're going to be going deeper in and seeing what's in, what's in here. I'm hoping that we find some kyanite, because that's what I need to actually increase the depth on the prawn suit and the cyclops to maximum, I think. Uh, now, the sea moth is only 900. That's the max you can go on it. So we're actually already below that right now. We can't actually go any lower than we currently are on the sea moth. So I'm going to have to swap out the sea moth pretty soon here in favor of um, the prawn suit. So unfortunately, sea moth's going to go bye bye here pretty soon. Even though I love cruising around in that thing and everything, we're going to have to get the prawn suit pretty soon. Now, the, the bad thing about the prawn suit is that it's a bit slower to move around in, but it is a tank. It's an absolute tank. We can, we can take hits in that thing. So that's good. There's lots of, as you can see, there's lots of ur uranite around here. And, um, I have plenty of stuff to put a nuclear reactor down here. I'm thinking about building a base down here by this cove tree somewhere. Uh, maybe as, like, a recharging station. I, I don't know. I, I guess we'll see. There is, holy crap, there is uranite, titanium, lithium. There's just huge nodes everywhere out here. Um, if I wanted to make a base, I could make a nuclear-powered base out here quite easily. Alright, I want to take the sea moth over there just for a moment Welcome aboard, Captain. and we'll just we won't go any deeper but i want to go like as deep as i can with the uh sea glide and see what's over here just for future reference yeah so there's like a, an area over here that's kind of deep and there's an area over here that's like really really deep yet way below 1000 meters probably Not very realistic to go this far down without like a, a some kind of mechanized suit or something, because you really couldn't. It is. It's like a. It's like a waterfall, like an underground waterfall. Really cool area design here. All right. Well, let me. Well, yeah, I'm gonna get a breath and then we'll go like straight down and see what's over there. I wonder what this material is that's doing this though, that's making this, you know, cascade down through here. Some kind of mineral infused water or something. Okay. We're going as deep as we can here. Vital signs stabilizing. Well, this is changing in a hurry. That's, uh, that's lava. Who the heck are you? And the music ends immediately as soon as I get out of that zone. Definitely a zone transition over there. Really cool. Really, really cool.
Really new area over here. Very dark at first. Very scary at first, because you see this giant area down below you. Alright, I'm gonna get some more air here. I'll go, like, as far as I can down through there. Then we're probably gonna head back. From a nice, peaceful area to, uh, oh, it's... It's dark and red. And, uh, probably really hot, too. How deep we want to go here because we're probably probably gonna be too hot for our character. There's a warper down there too. I mean those guys are everywhere. That's a new creature there. Big old slug bug thing. Alright. Well, we saw it. We saw it enough, I think. We're gonna go back. We're going to buff our stuff, I think, and we're going to see if we can make some upgrades for the prawn suit, I think. And then we'll have to have that if we want to go deeper. So, yeah, I'm going to go back and drop off my stuff and think about how we're going to get over here. I could get through these areas with the Cyclops. I could go through here with the Cyclops. I could do that. Like, that's the thing. I could do it. I'm pretty sure I could fit through all the areas through here. The question is, can I get through this area with the Cyclops while avoiding the notice of uh, the one big one that's here? But you know, he doesn't seem to be that aggressive, to be honest. As long as I stay on my side, you know, it's like, oh, you just stay on your side, and it's okay. Okay, so here's the other area I want to check out. These guys are not really aggressive towards me. They're like the same as any other thing I've encountered. Like the ampules and the bone sharks and all that stuff. They're the same. They're just kind of chill. I mean, they're... You don't want to get close to them. If you get in their immediate range, yes, they're going to go after you. But otherwise, they're not too bad. Okay, so we're going to go back. And I'll see you once we're back over here. And we're going to explore that area back there where I just was a second ago. Where all the alien stuff is. Make sure I bring a tablet or two and some ion cubes as well. Oh, definitely alien structures over here. Yes, indeed. Definitely alien. This alien structure appears to have collapsed to the sea floor. Can I go inside of there? It looks like I can. It's gonna be about the extent of how far I can go in here. Detecting an alien broadcast. Linguistic analysis reads, Caution, hazardous materials and life forms contained within. I see. Interior walls in this section are substantially reinforced, indicating the designers were seeking either to keep something out or contain it within. Whatever their intention, it clearly failed. That's good. What is that? An egg. Sea dragon egg. So is that what they're trying to keep out? But they failed? C 
Sea Dragon Bones, Rib Cage. I'll read all this stuff once we're done, guys. I know I say that and I never do. What are you? Fine fish. Well, there's a thing. Helen Cube, yeah. What in the heck? Well, that's a big skull. Residual biological evidence suggests indigenous life forms were brought to this location and subjected to intensive study. Warper parts. It's an actual warper. Self warping quarantine enforcement unit. So that they're like, were they engineered by these aliens? Parts everywhere. It's like they built these guys. Data pertaining to the bacterium is being downloaded. Caution. Detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. A self-scan is strongly advised. Okay. Give me a second here, game. I want to get back to my ship. Oh man, okay, that was kind of scary. I completely got disoriented there. I did not know which way was which, could not find my way out. Um, I'm gonna park my Seamoth a bit closer over here, I think. Oh, can I get through here? Yes, well, we bought it. We brought it. Okay, there we go. Let me do a soft scan real quick. Self scan complete. Bacterial infection has spread to the skin and pulmonary system. Medical report recorded to date to bank. It is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection. That's not good. New PDA data. Um, that's not good. Oh god, my hand was like... Ugh. Okay, let me hop back in here for a second. Welcome aboard, Captain. Obviously cannot get through over here. Just remember how you got in. You can see the light over there. Integrating new PDA data. All right, let me read some of this stuff real quick. Okay, um, let's see. Data downloads, alien data. So scan data, self-warping quarantine enforcement units. This life form shows signs of heavy genetic modification and extensive mechanical grafting. Its digestive and pulmonary systems have been replaced by an onboard battery receiving energy directly from the main grid and distributing it around the body. Miniaturized phase technology has been implanted beneath the skin and is triggered by the central nervous system, allowing the construct to teleport at will. The brain and central nervous system have been digitally augmented with advanced processing power and remote communications. Assessment, programmable hunter-killer avoid. Okay. 
in the warper parts. The organic parts dis on display contain DNA from dozens of different organisms largely originating, originating off-world. They are in varying states of augmentation with advanced technology. This production line setup suggests these self-warping constructs were built, maintained, and deployed by the aliens that designed this facility. Okay, so they're, they're built by them. Yeah, I got it. Okay, damage report. Leviathan detected at facility perimeter, closing at high speed. Exterior anchor cable impacted with massive force. Exterior ankle, ankle system buckling, facility sinking. Collision with seafloor. Breaches detected in containment unit 7, Leviathan eggs. Immediate specimen destruction protocol initiated. 314 specimens destroyed, one specimen unaccounted for. Evacuating staff to off-site sanctuaries. Planetary quarantine protocol initiated. Warning, infected individuals may not leave the planet. So they were, they were studying this infection, and the Leviathans got out and, I guess, infected these guys? I'm not really sure. Kara Contagion profi Profile. This terminal contains extensive data regarding the bacterial contagion identified as Kara. Discovery first encountered during routine network expansion on Outer Worlds. Pandemic development. Network error resulted in routine quarantine procedure failure. Contagion was uploaded to and spread quickly through the core worlds. Confirmed deaths 143 billion individuals. Bacterial mechanisms attaches to healthy living cells and mutates the basic genetic structure. Symptoms stage 1, gradual immune system failure. Stage 2, green skin lesions and flu-like symptoms. Stage 3, unpredictable alterations to biological structure. Stage 4, complete shutdown of executive function. Emergency steps taken, core worlds quarantined, bacterial samples distributed to isolated disease research facilities for vaccine development. So this was a huge, huge problem. Uh, for these guys, like, uh, maybe even other races besides these guys were infected by this, and 100 billion plus individuals were wiped out. Okay, next one, specimen research data, a catalog of information on the organisms previously contained within this alien facility. A number of entries have been translated, small herbivore gamma. This entry seems to reference the common peeper. Shows no immunity to infection. Death commonly occurs within four days. Shows symptoms of remission on exposure to enzyme 42, but symptoms quickly recur. Shows advanced learning behaviors. Shows some capacity to transmit enzymes to other spe specimens. Leviathan embryos. Adult specimen too large to study in containment. Egg specimens acquired from nesting site. Embryos show no sign of immunity. Death commonly occurs within three weeks. Small sample of eggs have been retained for continued high-priority research on Levioth Leviathan hatching mechanisms. Off-site lab established to study remains of the large carnivore Theta. Shows some potential for immunity to infection, but physical remains so far provide insufficient for full reconstruction. Unidentified Leviathan. This Leviathan species has been assigned designator Sea Emperor. Bone samples from Emperor specimens indicate some potential for car immunity. Single specimen captured for study at purpose-built containment facility constructed in volcanic region at depth 1.4 kilometers. Holy cow. Very, very deep. Assessment. While it is unlikely that the Emperor specimen is still contained within the facility described, it may be possible to acquire further data there on the alien's attempt to develop a vaccine. Okay, well, I guess that's what we're going on then. Advanced theories. Bacterial infection report. So this is us. Wonderful. You have been infected with a previously unknown waterborne bacterium. It is currently multiplying in your bloodstream. Estimate incubation time two weeks. Your immune system is currently combating the infection at low efficacy. You may already be experiencing flu-like symptoms and skin irritation. These will likely be exacerbated as the bacterium takes hold. Your immediate priority should be the abatement and eradication of the infection. Recommended steps. Salvage further alien research data on possible vaccine. Investigate the mechanisms which have enabled the indigenous ecosystem to inhibit the symptoms of the affection. Okay. Okay, sea dragon egg. This large egg is held in a hermetically sealed environment and has been chemically sterilized. Without the means at the facility to house a fully grown sea dragon specimen, it is possible the aliens sought to study instead of the egg laying and incubation process. To what end is unclear. So here are rib cage samples, a display containing a display case containing an array of rib cages harvested from the indigenous life forms. 
there is a particular focus in this instance on vertebrae, vertebrate skeletal structures. While some of these skeletons match organisms encountered on the planet so far, most cannot be matched with confidence, suggesting either that there are species out there not yet accounted for, or that they have become extinct since the samples were collected. Okay, Sea Dragon Skeleton, the semi-intact skeletal structure of a Leviathan-class predator. Head trauma. There is clear evidence of massive physical trauma to the head. The damage is so severe it was, un it was likely the cause of death and must have occurred somewhere nearby. Damage is consistent with a high-speed collision with a solid object. Well, that's... sounds like that's what happened previously, so he hit his head really hard and knocked that whole facility out of the water where it sank, and... yeah. Something in the environment has helped to preserve these remains, but calcium decay suggests an approximate time of death 1,000 years ago. Bone growth suggests the creature was in the egg-laying stage of its life cycle. Okay, guys, there's that. Um, got it all read. Took a long time. Spent a long time where I should have been out exploring, but whatever, it's fine. Didn't really learn anything I didn't already know, but that's okay. Skeletal remains, another big one over here. Research specimen, okay. More remains over here. That might be everything. At least in this little section over here, anyway. There's definitely been more out there, but just not in this little section of it, anyway. Seek fluid intake. I mean, I haven't been out that long. Well, I guess I did read for a long time. Dude. Nope. Nickelodeon episode. Ow. Ow. Put my own sea moth, man. I'm being like really thorough here, guys, but I think that's all that's here. Okay, then over here we've got more, more of this area. So I'm wondering if this is going to come around to the other side. There's another like area. There's another unexplored area over here, and I'm wondering if I'm going to come out on the other side of it, I guess, basically. It's limestone. I don't need limestone. I need nickel ore, man. This area right here, I don't think I've been over here yet. I was thinking that might loop around over here, but so far it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, we haven't gone over here yet. I don't have a whole lot of time left, though. Calorie intake recommended. The character's even hungry at this point. Wait, what is that? What's that blue stuff there? It's not... It's not kinite, is it? By chance? Nah, it's just some kind of fungus. Okay. Welcome Gonna go back. We need, we need fluid, too. We're going to go back, and we're going to uh, get some, some food and water, and then we'll come back around out here and check out this area specifically, and I think we're going to be pretty much done down here until we can go deeper into that lava area, which, that's going to be interesting to do that. We're going to need to take the prawn out, and ideally I'd like to take that out with the cyclops, but to get back through here with the cyclops... That's going to be real interesting. Have no idea how we're going to pull that off.
any case, though, guys, I think I'll be safe to go back over here. I can outrun everything here. The only thing that's really dangerous is the Ghost Leviathan up there guarding the area. Alright, guys, this is it. We're gonna be going down deep. We're gonna go for silent running here. And we're gonna try... Gonna try... to sneak past... you know who down here. I guess you can't turn your lights on whenever you're in silent running, which is, uh... It's kind of, you know what? We'll turn the lights on for now. I need to be able to see. You know, I need to be able to see a little bit in here. Alright, let's, let's see here. Top. What's our clearance like here? I'm pretty sure we can get this thing inside of here. Okay, so over here, to the left, maybe going to be tight, but if we can go in this way, we'll have to deal with uh, you-know-who. It seems like I have clearance up here, but I really... Okay, there it is. There's the edge. We're just gonna go slow, guys. You know, so far, so good. Okay, that's a wall. <laughs> that's, that's most certainly a wall. Ooh. Okay. That was a fish, though. Yeah, I know. I know, game. We're close. I know we're very close. Oh, there he is. Okay. Rigged for silent running. Now, I'm not really scared of these guys. However, I am scared of the big one. All right. We're just gonna go, man. Cameras. You know... This is risky as hell, but... I think we just gotta go and do it, man. Okay, am I... am I hitting? I'm hitting something, yeah. Okay, let's turn it. Man, this is this is not the most graceful navigation I've ever done, that's for sure. Okay. Okay. All right, I think we're through the worst of it. That was pretty rough getting through there. It was pretty rough, but I think we're through the worst of it. And um can probably relax somewhat now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're we're through. That was the worst part over there. Getting through that. So, um I think we can turn off this now. There we go. And this is gonna be real tight
Hey guy, hey, how's it going? They're not, they're not like overly hostile towards this thing anyway. I think they're just really too small to be much of a threat to be honest. At least I hope. All right, we're at 800. Obviously we, we know that we can go much further than this down. It's not an issue. All right, how we doing here? Everything's good? You, we might not want to, like, sit around here for a long time. I mean, if I had known this, I just would have done this earlier, you know? Ooh, okay, that was... That was not great. Okay, and now we are actually in the nice area over here. Ah, yes, the wonderful nice area over here. The nice, peaceful... Whatever these things are called area, I forget. The big old ghost rays, maybe? Yeah, these guys are cool. Okay, so we're like through the worst of it. Um, we can now go back through to the really deep areas, because we do have the diving depth now for that. And um, I may access up a base out there in these super deep areas. This thing's pretty tough, though. Like, you can take a bump here or there. As long as you're not going at, like, ramming speed, you seem to be okay. The idea would be to create a base out here and probably um, create it with nuclear power. And then we'll have a base we can come back to and refuel our power cells. Because we have everything we need to build a power cell here, I think. I might be missing one or two things. And if I am, that's going to suck really bad, but... Uh, I think we have this stuff to build a power cell. So we can actually descend. Let me check my cameras here. How's our clearance over here? Might be okay. It's close over here. I think otherwise, I think we're good to go here. Could even do like an advanced scan, but that really uh, drains the power quickly. There are some warpers down here. I do. I forgot about that. Um, I don't know what they do if, if you find them in your sub. It's not it's not great, I don't think, but um, certainly nowhere near as bad as other stuff. All right, we can we can descend some more, yeah. And we're at one thousand meters. We can still go deeper yet. Uh, now this does go... This does go out into the, like, volcanic area. Let me see how we're doing now for, um height and all that stuff. We go a little bit deeper here. Fish. I wish I wish you would not do that. Oh, okay, we're we're like on a shelf here. Let's turn it. One of those weird looking guys. Let's turn it here. I'm pretty sure we're just hitting fish. 
Like, I'm pretty sure these are just fish hitting us over and over and over again. I wish you guys would stop. I really do. Yeah, they're just fish. Like, no big deal. How are we doing on depth? Still got 200 meters we can go. And, um... That's, that's about it, guys. I don't know who we're hitting still. I guess just fish. But, yeah, I think we're good to go. Now, if I... Oh. Hi. Hi, you thing. Okay, well, you're just gonna hang out there, huh? Alright, so... I do believe we can uh, get out in our prawn suit here now. This thing can only go to 1300 as well. Oh god, we were like... We dropped out, like, right next to a big pool of lava. There was not much uh, wiggle room there at all. I can't actually pick up stuff with the um, propulsion cannon load here. You know what? I might go ahead and jump back in. I want to be careful about that because I really don't want to fall into the lava over there. It's actually 50 degrees Celsius in this water. That's, that's pretty damn hot. I think I'm going to move a little bit here so I don't accidentally, you know. So let's take off. I think I want the grappling hook over the propulsion cannon. Let's take off that so I can actually pick stuff up here. The drill arm would be really ideal, but I don't have the drill arm yet, so. It is what it is, you know. So let me see here. How did I not? I guess I just didn't realize it was so close. Um, let me back up a bit here. There are just volcanoes erupting everywhere down here. I'd like to get a bit away from that giant bit of lava there. Are we running into stuff here? We're running into something. Okay, let me see. Okay, that ought to be okay. Yeah. Let me check real quick. Actually, can I even go out here? Is it too hot? I guess uh, my suit's thermal resistant, right? It should be okay. If it's not, I'll just pop back in real quick and... What the hell can I scan here? Lava Larva. I'm scanning him through the hull, I think. Okay, what the hell is this guy? A grub-like species which appears to lack sight and smell, but is able to sense and drain thermal and electrical energy in its immediate environment. Oh, you piece of crap. Remove to conserve... Okay. I gotta get you off of there, buddy. You're gonna suck on my power, huh? Let me turn off... Powering down. You, can, you can siphon from the Cyclops? Can you really? Hey, man. Off of there. You know what, you two? Um, I don't think they want you there either. What are you? The hell is this? He's like stuck. Anybody else stuck on here? You. Get out of there, man. What was that? Better not have been somebody else. What are all you guys, man? Red eye eye. So it's an eye eye, but it's red. Okay. You, get off- Guys, get the hell off of- 
Get off of there. Oh my god, there's more. I could just take the power cells out for now. I didn't want to... Oh my god, you're back, huh? Okay, was it like what? 77%? Oh my god, yeah, they drain it real quick. Alright, uh, we're not having that. We're not having that. So we're gonna have to unpower this thing, basically. Okay. Party's over, guys. No more fun times for you. Now, I would assume it does not keep draining it. So whatever, get in there, floater. Get out of here. I assume it doesn't keep draining that while you're down here, right? I should say 0%, right? <laughs> Negative 2147. Okay. That's fine. How is our hull doing, though? So, yeah, it's just that. Okay, we're still fine on our hull. Everything's all hunky-dory there. Okay. Alright. Um, I think we're good to go now for the prawn, at least. It is hot out here, but um, that's okay. There's lava over there. Eruptions all around. Very, very dark down here. If only I had uh, geothermal, I, I could have a heyday down here, man. Be on easy street over here. It's just like straight up lava down there. I don't wanna, really want to go down there. That looks like it would be hazardous to my health, I think. Kyanite? What is that? Lithium. Ugh, I don't know, guys. Seamoth might have been a better choice here. I really can't see anything, which is the problem. I don't really want to deal with these guys, either. Wow, when you land, like, lava shoots up. Oh, Jesus, nope. Nope, nope, nope. But it looks like I can kind of go around some of this stuff, but then again, like... How, um... This is, like, pretty steep out here. Does not say how high it is out here or anything. Just shale. Oh, 
Rather surprised you find any life down here. Oh! Fuck! Shit, I don't have my... Ah, God, I don't have... Fuck, I don't have my thing bound. Really, you can just warp out of that. Okay. That's not good. Copper. So, uh, yeah, this, I mean... You can go, like, all the way down here. I don't know what real purpose there is. I could even take the Cyclops all the way down here. But, like... To what end, you know? What for? This is an, actually an area where I'm just kind of like, um, okay, there's deep shrooms here. I've gotten those elsewhere. I see no new minerals. I was hoping for kyanite down here. But so far, I just see darkness and death everywhere. Okay, that's, that's fine. We're going to go a bit deeper then. First, I gotta pick up my Cyclops, though. Or not my Cyclops. Gotta pick up the prawn suit. Welcome up, Captain. All systems online. Okay. Um. Well. Powering up. Damn fish. You damn fish! It's so freaking dark, man. I cannot see, like, anything at all. How about some sonar, hmm? Oh god, that's so much better. That is so good in here, guys. And it seems like the Warpers just don't give a damn about you at all. Turn my lights off and just use sonar instead. That is so damn good. Well, maybe they don't care about you. This is like a straight shot here, huh? It drains power, but it's not that bad. Jesus, what was that? What's going on back there, man? What is this? We've got new stuff out here. Oh, new angel guys! Oh, 
Also warpers. Can I turn this off? And just do lights now? Doesn't really do much for me, does it? Cameras? No, you really cannot see a damn thing. I'll tell you what, though. We're gonna go knock off some jerks. Oh, are there more? Oh, great! Great! Even more. Wait, there we go. Get off my Cyclops. If they like just come right back on, it's gonna be pointless though. Get off. Any more parasites? Yeah, you. Oh my god, get off get off my Cyclops, dude. Yeah, get off! No, there's no free rides around here, man. Oh my god. This may be a battle that I just can't win, guys. I don't know. Like, it just, it just might be kind of futile to even try. I may end up just, uh... Just powering everything off once I get a bit deeper in here. Because they're just like... They're getting on here as fast as I can knock them off, pretty much. Okay, guys, tell you what. How deep down does this go? Pretty deep. Is that Kyanite... My god, is that finally some kyanite? It is. Special equipment is required. Of course it is. I need the drill arm. Well, we found the kyanite. It's way, way down here. Okay, where the hell is my sub at? There it is. We're like... Oddly, we're like directly below. We're literally like straight down from the sea moth. Okay, how we how we doing? We got more, you know. No, get away! Don't even think about it. The warpers are oddly less aggressive out here, which I am certainly not complaining about. Power, eh? I'll tell you guys what. Um, yeah, we're gonna power everything down. Okay, hold on. Let me see how how far do I need to go down here? How how? Let me see. Can I can I descend down to the bottom without dying? Looks like it. How close are we? Just, like, barely, really. Like, just, just barely. Okay, so, we can... Yeah, okay, got it. I know, we're kind of close. We're close to the bottom. That's the point. That's the point. It's the point, Cyclops. We point the, close to the bottom. All right. Power it down. Power it down. 
and we're gonna take off all the power cells and put them in our store them for now so that we're not getting power sucked out by the damn leeches. Okay, uh, now this, um, the stasis rifle was not really effective against the warpers, so I'm gonna swap it for the repulsion cannon, I think. We'll use that instead. And, uh, yeah, so we gotta be able to get out in this, the prawn suit here, no problem. Um, we're, like, just barely... Yeah, we're just... We're just barely within, like, reason on the crush depth here. We absolutely cannot go any deeper, though. Just got gold down here. That didn't sound good. That sounds particularly not good, to be honest. Oh, is it just you? I think I'm okay with you. You seem to be, uh... Whoa! Holy shit! Yeah, that's you. Okay, it's you, but yeah. Ugh. He, like, turned himself into a rocket. And shot himself at me. That was a very odd attack. There are these giant nodes of kyanite everywhere that I cannot really get. So is kyanite just, like, generally, like, you just can't... Crap. It's hard to pick stuff up in this, man. It's kind of just generally, like, you just can't get it without the drill arm, I guess. I feel like we may have skipped some progression or something here. I feel like I'm maybe not supposed to be right at this area yet. Alright, so... I'm thinking we might build a future base for down, like down here, like a future recharging station. Um... How do you guys feel about that? There's like a ridge up there, can I, um... Let's grapple myself up here. Yeah. It's hard to tell what's what up here, though. Bunch of silver. Can I just kind of glide? Yeah, I can. Totally can. Spider-Man up here. It's a bit weird to control, but yeah, you certainly can. There's some ruby there. Give me the ruby. You can totally just like grapple yourself up here. Give me that, give me that ruby. Ah! No, come on. Come on. Get it! I want to see if I can actually get this. Not really, you have to like... Got it! Got it. Alright, well, um... I'm pretty much convinced there's nothing I can really do down here. Like, at the moment, anyway. I'm sure I'll need resources down here eventually. But I can't do too much right now. However... What I would actually like to do is, as, as insane as it sounds, I'd like to build a base down here. We go from building our base in the safe shallows to building one in the, uh, lava area down here. Yeah! Like, they don't hurt that much, man. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, let's see. Over here... How about over here? How do we feel about... This is a nice, big, flat area over here. It really is. 
And um, since we're doing nuclear power, it doesn't really matter that much where we do it, where we build. So, this is mainly just to refuel the Cyclops. It's really the only reason. So, um, let's get back in the Cyclops and power it up and... Remove all the parasites. I wonder if it's even viable to build down here due to um, those guys, you know? I don't know. We're going to find out, though. Actually, is there anything wrong with building right here? I don't think there really is. Um, okay, so let's... Need some food. And water and stuff. Alright, so... We're going to build out here. we got to get out... I need some Titanite for sure, and obviously I gotta remember I'm not, I don't have air in here, so... There's that. And we'll make a nuclear... Uh, reactor, I guess, which, you know, we certainly have enough stuff for that. Let's get back in our psych- or our, um... Our prawn suit. Get some air real quick. Alright, so, um... Let's get to it, man. So we're going to build a... I'm actually going to do a foundation down here. I don't normally do these, but I think I will this time. You know what? This is, uh, this is okay. Let's get up here on the prawn suit real quick. Let's move this thing a bit. It's a big rock there that's kind of going to, kind of, I can't go, I can't build over there. Alright, so we'll do that. How about over here? Now we're clipping, huh? This works, but this doesn't work over here. Well, actually it does. Surprisingly it does. can always go this way. This is a better option over here. Maybe we'll just deconstruct that and go over here instead. We can't go super high here. And I want to build a good foundation here anyway, because it'll add a lot of structural integrity. And it'll, it'll just look cool. I'm not going to lie. Uh, this is somewhat just to look cool. Oh, I need more lead. Unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot of titanium broken down. Most of it's in the form of metal salvage. Which I can I can make it into titanium out here, but that will drain a lot of a lot of power, you know. Preferable to use this up while I can. I should have just like I should have just done it all previously. Oh well, it's fine. Back at the base, you know, I should have done it all. It's okay. There's like some ambient light here on this thing, which like in this gloom, or maybe that's just the light of the uh, the prawns. I don't know. I think this, we're gonna clip there. Okay, can we can we go up then? Can we stack up? Yeah, it's just stack up then. That's fine. Now we don't need to have a huge base here, guys. It doesn't have to be like enormous, you know. Maybe a scanner room. Don't these sit on top? Maybe not. Maybe you have to attach them like this over here or something. 30 seconds. By the way, somebody asked about the oxygen warnings, like why I get them since I'm in hardcore. I don't know. I, I don't know. I've I mean I swear I am hard I'm in hardcore. I can show you my save file if you want. There's always someone that questions legitimacy, you know? Always someone worried that, you know, you're not you're not being 100 percent truthful or something. Quartz and titanium, okay. Those those power sucker guys, they must be like actually attracted to um, the power, not just to like we don't just randomly get on your cyclops. It only happens if you have power on them. They must sense it and seek it out. Which is interesting, because then how do they survive normally? We don't know. 
where we want this. Oh, over here, yeah. Okay, now we, we're, we're gonna make a nuclear reactor. What does that require? Plasteel ingot, advanced wiring, and lead times three. Okay. Uh, we can pull that off. We have to power up the Cyclops for a bit, though, for that. I should have made all this stuff previously and had it, like, all good to go. I, I didn't know if I'd need it, though, you know? So, like, we, need, we need Plasteel, which is, uh, lithium. Right, lithium. Got some lead already. Alright, we gotta, we gotta power it up for a bit here. Got titanium ingot, then our plasteel ingot. Alright, there's that. Um, what else? Advanced wiring kit. Um, that requires a wiring kit. I, my character's drifting again, you guys notice this? Requires a regular wiring kit and then uh, go on a computer chip. Okay, oh man, I don't know if I have enough table coral to be honest. Maybe I can't make that. Hell. Hell, hell, hell. I don't know. No, I've only got a couple of table coral samples. Who would have thought, man? It's so it's so common elsewhere. I wouldn't have thought it'd be a big deal. Well, I might end up going out of here anyway, and maybe not doing this then, because I don't think we have the stuff to make that. I don't have like, anything else I can make either. Yeah, there's, there's guys attaching. There's a thing up there, too. I'm not sure if it's the thing I'm used to seeing or something else. I don't know. Where is the... There it is. Alright. Well, we're gonna power it up fully then, I guess, and then get out of here. Sorry, guys, kind of a waste of time, I know. I mean, it's interesting to see stuff out here, but uh, kind of a waste of time, all the same. Look at how damn fast these things are getting drained, oh my god. Okay, we're turning it around, we're going back. I don't know if you can, like, if you can go through here, like, all the way and come out the other side somewhere. It's possible. Powering up. But... It's so tempting to just keep going, but I really think I'd run out of power. If I want to go through here fully, I'd have to get more power. It's my current assessment. All right, I do believe we're going the opposite way now. It's good. That sonar is so amazing, though. For this. I mean, it's really, really good. It does bring through the power fast, though. Gonna kind of estimate when I need to use it again. Yep, we're still good. I don't know, man. That sounds different. That sounds different to me than the other guys. I wonder if there's something big and scary down here. Seems to be the common theme, you know? Oh god, freaking fish. Freaking fish, man, every time. Freaking fish. Have I gone the wrong way? Wait, what are... Oh, you're just, you're just an angelfish. You're cool. Wait, what is... Oh, fuck. I don't know what that is. 
but it's really big and scary. Rig for silent running. I'm now wondering if our sonar has drawn something here. Engine powering down. Maybe not the best time to get out, but, um, can I? Yeah. Get the hell off of there. The question becomes, can I find my way out? I suppose I could always make more power cells if I really had to. Alright. Oh my, he, he's already back. He's already back, guys. Thing is, I kind of need the sonar to see where I'm going. That's nice. Thanks, Warper. Don't know about that. I, at this point, guys, I'm kind of lost. And like, as you can see, lights do nothing for me. Can you tell me the way, Warper? How do I get out, man? I thought for sure this was the way. Holy shit. Yeah, something big, man. Ain't too far away either. Okay, well, I'll tell you what I know. What I know is that we want to go in the opposite direction of that thing. So that was um, east. We're going to go west. Rig for silent running. Whatever way that guy is, we're going the opposite way. This area is just so big, man, and I am draining power so fast using both of these at the same time. Between the power sucking guys and, like... Oh, man. Am I, like, no longer moving forward? Am I, like... Oh, yeah, we're running straight into something. Okay. Yeah, it's obviously not good. Guys are like swimming up through. Oh, 
Okay, I got it. I got it, game. I got it. We're close to stuff. We should... Yeah, I got it. Okay, this is obviously not where we want to be. How the hell do I get out of here? That's all I want to know, man. Where is my little base that I built before? I thought for sure this was it. I'm gonna deactivate my sonar and just go as light power as I possibly can here. Thanks, Fish. Thanks for that. Use this as sparingly as possible. I just feel like there's no point in knocking these fish, these things off, man, these larvae off, because they're just going to get back on. I think we are going up. I think we're. I think this is the proper way out, guys. Jesus, fish. Oh, please, God, tell me. Yes, this is the way out. This is it. Oh, God. I mean... It's, you know... <laughs> better than being stuck down here. I'd rather be stuck up here. Okay. If I knock these suckers off now, out here, I think they will go away for good. You're getting off of here, man. This is your last stop. Get out. The whole like non-lethal thing, man. Yeah, it's not. It's not doing it for me. Those those guys, most annoying creatures, even worse than warpers. Can't believe but like my plan was foiled by uh, table coral. I should not make that mistake again. I have plenty of storage room. I should have just had a bunch of table coral there, you know. What was that? Like, all the sound stopped. I think I think we're good, though. I think we're all right here. I will get, like, all the spare power cells that I have. Do I have any in here? No. I can make some more, though, if I need to, from those batteries. Like, I will take all my batteries out and strap them all together and turn them into power cells if I have to. Yeah, we're on, like, fumes here, guys. Okay. Oh my god, are you see? Are, are you- are you freaking serious? I just knocked you off. How are you- Like, you guys don't exist out here, okay? Gotta turn around, too. God, that's close. I don't know how I'm not getting pings from being that close, but whatever. So we have basically one full power cell. Just the one. So we're gonna go out here. I guess at half speed, I think that's efficient. I'm not really sure. I do have almost a full power cell in the prawn as well that I could put in. This is it, right? This is Yeah, this is the way out, I think. We go like out to here, then we go to the green area. Like now that we got those slugs off, um, the power is draining normally, which takes quite a while, so we should be fine. Yeah, 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 we're, we're almost, guys, we're almost there. I think, honestly, I honestly think we can make it back home and uh, recharge everything. I really do, I really think I, we can. So we learned a couple things. We need to get, for sure, need to explore some more in this area, I think, and we need to explore some more of the wrecks out there. Not even gonna sweat about those guys. They don't seem to care about you. Crap. Yeah, sure. Alright, well, we're going home to recharge, guys, and uh, then we're gonna rethink 
what we're doing with our lives. No, like we, we have to get a thermal plant. We have to stock up on some table coral. We have to find the drill arms um, over in the other area. There's a lot of stuff we have to do that we just... We, we, there's stuff we need we just don't have yet. Then we can start mining that kyanite and we can go even deeper. To what end? I don't know. I want to explore the Lost River more. And I think to explore the Lost River more, I'd like to have a base it up so I don't have to keep going back home. I'd like to have a home out there where I can just scan for stuff. So anyways, guys, I'm going to go back. Um, I'll probably wrap up the episode here, I guess. And I'll see you next time.